NASA's Mars 2020 Perseverance rover and the Ingenuity Mars helicopter have been busy after landing on the Red Planet a few weeks ago. Today, we are joined by Perseverance project scientist Ken Farley and Ingenuity chief engineer Bob Ballaram to get an update on what's happening with the rover and the helicopter. Bob, can you give us the latest update on Ingenuity? Uh, yes, uh, we've been working on a fix to a problem that has prevented us from going into flight mode where we can spin the rotors up fast. We have both a long-term fix that's making its way to the spacecraft as well as some workarounds that we sent on Thursday and we just got the results on Friday and we'll be analyzing those results to see you know, what the high-speed spin looked like. And that should let us uh, get back on track with our rest of our flight experiments. And what does that mean for first flight? I think it means that uh, we'll be done with the commissioning if the results from this all look good and we'll then be really be ready to take off on that first flight. So it's good progress to have and we're looking forward to being in the flying phase as getting past the commissioning phase. That's good to hear, Bob. Now, Ken, there's another technology demonstration gearing up on Perseverance. Can you tell us about MOXIE and what it plans to do? Sure. Uh, MOXIE is part of Perseverance's technology demonstration payload, uh, as is the helicopter. And MOXIE is a, a small device that will convert the carbon dioxide of the Martian atmosphere into oxygen as a demonstration of this capability for, for future uh, missions that might bring astronauts to Mars who uh, would benefit greatly by not having to bring oxygen with them. So MOXIE is a, is a uh, demonstration that this capability will actually work on Mars. And we're very excited as, as part of the early parts of this mission to be testing out our, our new technologies. And we expect that uh, the first run of the, of the MOXIE investigation will uh, be within the next couple of weeks. Great. And what science has Perseverance been working on over the last week or so? We have been studying rocks as we have, have been uh, investigating the area where the helicopter is going to fly. And as we drove out to our observation point where we can watch the helicopter at a safe distance, we've been exploring the rocks that are up close to the rover, trying to understand whether they are uh, uh, volcanic rocks uh, or sedimentary rocks? Were they produced by a volcano uh, or were they uh, uh, deposited by water? Thank you. Thank you, Ken. And thank you, Bob. To get the latest, follow at NASA JPL and at NASA Persevere on social media for the latest updates. Take a deeper dive on the mission's website, mars.nasa.gov slash perseverance, where you can also find all the raw images being sent back by the rover and go to go.nasa.gov slash ingenuity for the latest updates on the helicopter. Thanks for watching.